Our next guest is a talented actress you know from her work in Bring It On, Being Mary Jane and the Inspection. She stars in the third season of Truth Be Told, which is streaming on Apple TV Plus, with new episodes released on Fridays. Let's take a look. The superintendent shut me down from asking questions at school or even acknowledging anything's wrong. All the memorials around town, they're all for Emily. It's like Drea didn't even exist. I need to act. You are. With those bright young minds you mold. Well, what use are their minds if I can't keep their bodies safe? Please welcome back to the show, Gabrielle Union, everyone! <laughs> It's a very good. warm crowd tonight. Yes. This is uh, this is a very intense show. This is the third season of a show. Octavia Spencer plays a um, crime podcaster. You play a principal yeah. in an area where there's a lot of kids being trafficked. It must be a very intense thing to take on. Incredibly intense. And it's how was the problem? I know you've worked with Octavia Spencer before. That must make it a little easier to take on material like this. Yeah, there's no way I could do this show without Octavia. We have been friends literally forever, over well over 20 years, because it's crazy because we're only 27. <laughs> but we've been, we've been friends for so long. We started on a show called City of Angels, and it oh, was yeah. me and Octavia and Viola Davis and uh, Maya Rudolph, who before she went off to do that. <laughs> show that you guys it did, did not go well for it, you know her. i think yeah. it worked out but yeah we all met on that show and bonded and um you know from there like that that trust grew so when she hit me and was like i have a great opportunity for you to join season three of truth be told but it's some really tough material but i think you are uniquely prepared for this and when i read the script i was like this is gonna this is gonna be a gut punch every day you know it's gonna be a little triggering or a lot triggering um but for the greater good of getting, like, to create a bigger platform to let more people know that, that human trafficking, sexual trafficking is a global pandemic. And when black and brown girls go missing, we do not have the resources or the media attention. Um, and we are, we are often demonized and, and sort of um, are held complicit in our own abuse. And just trying to, you know, recenter the focus on the most marginalized of the marginalized. You, uh, before you became an actor, you actually l were thinking about being a lawyer, yeah. which is, seems very similar to what you were just talking about. What, how far down the line did you go with that? Well, you know, I, uh, <laughs> the thing about standardized testing. Um, <laughs> I was studying for the LSATs and not doing well. <clears throat> At, at all, and I got an internship at a modeling agency at the same time as I was taking these LSATs. And when my modeling agency, you know, gig internship ended, they were like, would you ever consider being, you know, one of our girls? And I'm looking at the, the LSATs that I'm <laughs> doing terribly at, or being in a Tupac video. And yeah. I was like, I ain't. I gotta be honest, even if you were crushing the LSATs, <laughs> <laughs> I I'm going with Tupac. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, I went into the entertainment business and I kind of left the, the, the dream of law behind. Now, uh, you have a four-year-old, and I know it's very early to tell, but there maybe is a bit of entertainer in her. Oh, uh, a lot of entertainer she in her. She gave a... Uh, now, I have a, I have a six-year-old, I have a four-year-old. I can't imagine either of them uh, having the wherewithal or the nerve to give a toast at my birthday party, but your four-year-old gave a toast? Oh, a full toast, <laughs> like she... <laughs> has like, like she's Ayala. So this is like, and we're in Africa, it's late, it, we're in Tanzania, and she was like, mommy, you are worthy. And it was like, <laughs> how do you know I struggle with feelings of worthlessness? <laughs> like, it, but she never turned On a down, microphone. On she, a microphone gotcha. in front of a crowd. Planned, or did she just kind of go up and ask the MC, I'd love to say a few words? Well, anytime, anytime a microphone comes out, she's like, yes, I'd like to have a word. <laughs> And so we're like, Kav, what would you like to say? And we're thinking it's gonna be some cutesy toddler. Happy birthday. But she was like, uh, and for my third point, and she had like, you know, the Dead Sea Scrolls of, of points she wanted to make. And, uh, but no, she's very articulate and she loves to public speak and sing and do all That is things. a huge thing because I, I think even for 
people, even for children who go on to be performers, they have to get over that public speaking thing first. So the fact that she's already there. I'm oh no, she's ready to do press. She's like, hey Seth, anyway, you are worthy. Uh, for my next my song. My kids once very sweetly right before bed said, one day you'll be worthy, dad. And I thought that was nice. They said one day. Something to be, one you know, day. something to aim for. <laughs> um, and now you are married uh, to, I know he's a former athlete, but every time I see the two of you together, I just want to say two fashion icons he's are married. That's Dwayne Wade. <laughs> And, you know, uh, and I'm wondering what life, and I know he's still uh, involved in sports ownership, but do you, as a family, do you yourself still watch and root for sports post playing career? Oh, yes. All right. I, I, I have a problem. I become everybody's Mama June. Um, <laughs> so we, we have like, we have a, we have a suite at, at SoFi, so we watch the Chargers and the Rams. And I have to say, the Rams with Odell, all the women in my group chat are like, I am a Rams fan. <laughs> um, and I'm like, girl, you are an Odell fan. You, I, no one comes that early, but we're right. like, he's stretching. <laughs> uh, get those hammies, Odell. <laughs> um, but yeah, but this year, you know, not as much. And uh, I grew up in the Bay Area. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, where we don't have a professional team, yep. but everyone's Cornhusker fans. But growing up in the Bay Area, you're a 49er fan. So we've been watching, you know, the 49ers. That's nice to have a rooting thing. interest going into championship weekend. That's a nice feeling. Well, again, with the group chat. Um, so apparently the group chat is all throwing all of our weight behind Jalen Hurts. Oh, interesting. Um, He's the handsome this year? Uh, apparently. He yeah. Is, uh, he, is, uh, he, does, he does well for himself. <laughs> um, I'd like to go home to a happy home, so I'm not going to comment there. <laughs> but... The streets are saying. Uh, uh, the streets. Look, you're hearing things. You're not saying things. You're uh, hearing things. For the older kids, he's like the new Warren Moon. Um, <laughs> for the way older kids, or I guess just me. Um, you got me. I got you. you. Got I, I totally. And you mentioned you're from Omaha and a yeah. big family. Very big. So a lot of families still in Omaha. Yeah, the, the bulk of our family is still in Omaha. We have the largest black family in the state of Nebraska. Oh my goodness, congratulations. How many? I don't know how hard that is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but one of the largest in the Midwest. And this, uh, this last summer, we had our 105th annual family reunion. 105th annual yeah. family? That is an incredible yeah. number. Yes, we're called the Dozens of Cousins. The dozens Bryant of Cousins? Yeah, the Bryant Fisher family. Now, uh, you're doing something that I find, uh, I actually find very impressive, and I hope it does not come to pass for uh, uh, 50 years from now. Uh-oh. You are planning your own funeral. Oh, yes. OK. Yes. This is you something, have to. when did you decide to start putting the planning into it? Go into a lot of bad funerals. And yeah. it's, <laughs> it's kind of like when me and my husband were getting married, like the, the, the couple summers before we got married, we were at, at, our, at other people's weddings, like not that, never that, nope, nope, nope. Um, so it led me to like think, I, I feel like I need to plan my funeral down to like the smallest detail. So I've chosen all of the sexiest photos. And I don't want, like, if I die at 88, I don't want to be 88 on the program. You give me, <laughs> you give me my thirst traps. Um, all my best material. But like, I've got playlists that they have, like food. Like, I want a good funeral. That's great. Yeah. And now, when you mention a playlist, is this, are you constantly editing it? Like, if you, you hear a new, to. if you hear a new banger, are you like, oh, that's well, gotta yeah. be. Well, yeah, so like, there's now, we have a lot of Beyonce from yeah. the latest. You yeah. Know, you have to constantly update. Do you let her know, or are you like, good news, you're on my funeral mix? <laughs> Listen, when I showed up at her birthday, and I'm like, it's a circle of life, and I just <laughs> want you to know, that when it's the end for me, you'll also be there. So. <laughs> that does seem like a thing that might be hard to hear, which is like, I'm gonna play you at my funeral. <laughs> but there you go. I think that's very nice that you put that work into it because I think that, yeah. you know, obviously when that happens, you, for your loved one that recently passed, you wanna make sure you do it the way they did. Well, and I think we think we are closer to people than we actually are. Yeah. Have you ever heard yourself described by a family member and you're like, do you know me? Yeah. Like, at, at what point do, yeah. you, do you know me? I just, I know, uh, based on what I've heard, uh, your daughter will be there being like, she was worthy. <laughs> you know what, that's what you should do. She would also write the speeches people give at your funeral. Just like, don't go off book. Yeah, like, I prepared some remarks. <laughs> just read thank that. you so much for being here. It's no, always such a pleasure to see you guys. That's Gabrielle Union. <laughs> Truth Be Told is streaming on Apple TV Plus with new episodes released on Friday. We'll be right back with more Late Night.